Here's what the GeoGebra applet with bogus data looked like at the end of the previous video. We tried to fit an exponential growth model to this bogus data and it didn't work very well. If you did this for the real bacteria data, the exponential growth model may have fit the initial points, but it shouldn't have worked for the later points as the bacteria were starting to exhaust their environment. Therefore, we need to try to fit a different model to the data, one that can capture effects of an environmental carrying capacity. One model for population growth under the conditions where there's a carrying capacity is the logistic equation. This web page explains how if the logistic model is a good model, then if we take this population change and divide it by the population size, we should get a linear relationship between that ratio and the population size. I'll show how to check to see if this linear relationship holds. The key quantity is this change divided by population size, which we could call it the relative change. To calculate the relative change, we just need to take the ratio between column D and column C. So in F2, I could type equals, click on D2, and then divide by C2 to get the appropriate ratio. And then I can hit Control C, highlight the rest of the column, and press Control V to calculate the relative change for each time point. Then let's plot relative change versus population size. Before I do this, let's get rid of the old points. I can highlight these points, right click, and click on Show Object to hide them. And now I'm going to type a new ordered pair where the x component is the population size, so I click on C2 here, type a comma, the y component is the relative change, F2, press Enter, copy, and paste these points to the rest of the column. Let's get rid of the label. If the data I entered were well represented by a logistic model, these points should lie along a line. Not very good here, but of course I didn't put in data that's well represented by a logistic model. To fit the logistic model, we need to know the slope and the y-intercept of this line. Imagine that these points lay along a line, and let's fit a line to this data. We can use GeoGebra to fit a line to data. It has a best fit line tool. If we click on this little arrow here, we can find the icon for best fit line. And then if we highlight the points, GeoGebra automatically calculates a line. The icon for best fit line won't show up if you're in the spreadsheet. So if you don't see it, click on the graphics window first. Then the list of icons will be like it's shown here. The web page also explains how you can use the fit line command tool. You can type it right here in the input. That will do the same thing as clicking on the button we did. In fact, if I right click the line and go to object properties, click on basic, this is exactly the command you could enter in the input to create the line. Now we need to know the slope and the y-intercept of this line. Unfortunately, we can't read it off from this properties dialog. But here's a trick we can use. If you go to the View menu and click on Algebra, it opens an Algebra window, and here's our equation for the line. We can see that it's y equals negative 0.759 times x plus 0.449. So our y-intercept here is 0.449, and our slope is negative 0.759. Once you've determined your slope and y-intercept of your fit, you can look at the web page to see how to calculate the parameters of the logistic model from these two quantities. We can also use this applet to plot the data versus time and see how well a model matches the data. Let's delete these calculations. We can create points of population size versus time index. Here I can copy down all the way to the bottom. We can't see these points in the current view, 
But if I hold down shift and drag the x-axis, I can shrink it like this. Get all 10 points on there. Here we get a boring straight line because I made the population size be the same at every time. Let's get rid of the point labels and make it look prettier. Then I'll go to Object Properties, turn off the labels, make them blue and larger. We can use this applet to compare the data to a prediction from a model. Let's pretend I thought this data was well fit by a logistic equation with growth rate 0 0.2 and carrying capacity 2. To check this, I would set the initial conditions to be the same as the data. And then for the remaining time points, I would calculate what the logistic equation predicts. To enter the prediction for time point 1, I would type in the logistic formula, the equation for the population at time point 1, and everywhere in the formula where it refers to the previous population size, I'll click on the cell above it, which is the population size at time point 0. The logistic model says that the population size in time point 1 would be the population size in time point 0, plus the growth rate, which I'm pretending is 0 0.2, times the population size in time point zero, times in the quantity one minus the population size in time point zero, divided by the carrying capacity, which I'm pretending here is two. And I hit enter. Then I can copy this formula to the rest of the column, and it will always refer to the previous cell, to give me the prediction from the model. Let's create points showing the model prediction. So I'm going to plot time index and then model prediction. Copy and paste that to the rest of the column. And there we have the model prediction. Not very good in this case. Let's highlight the points, change their properties, make them larger, change the style, maybe the color, get rid of the label, and there you have a nice comparison between the model prediction and the data. I hope when you do this, you have better results than I do.